When looking at dashboard reporting, any number of dashboard reports can be created. When we examine one in detail, we can see that there are text panels where we can add additional clarity and information based on our analysis of the data points, any number of graphical analyses and views of those data points themselves, and any other details and statistics that may be relevant for the audience who is interested in the performance characteristics of this particular test run. When it comes time to distribute these results and reports to those stakeholders, there's a number of mechanisms we can use. First, we can simply provide a link to an existing dashboard report that we can then distribute via URL to any interested stakeholders. This would allow them to view these test results without requiring access to or logging into NeoLoad and directly view the performance characteristics in whatever dashboard framework they would wish. Additionally, we can export this as a PDF file and provide a simple link to allow users to distribute this and see this in whatever context they would want uh, via email or again via web dashboards. Finally, as we look through the number of dashboards that we have, we can see that there are multiple different test runs and we've made changes and things are improving. One of the questions that comes up is how does this trend over time? And it's important to be able to show that our applications do in fact have a trend in terms of performance, whether those tests are successful or failing as we go via a timeline of how our test executions are taking place when we continuously run a performance engineering effort. I hope you found this video useful and good luck with your NeoLoad trial.